Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today's tutorial is actually a design space tutorial. So I know this um, this look is different because usually this is what you see when we start assembling things. But I wanted to show you some of the colors that I'm using just so that you can kind of get ahead of the game. So, um, all right, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so this file, I had seen this on Pinterest and I've been wanting to do a wreath, a paper wreath for a very long time. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is actually, so like I was saying, I saw this on Pinterest and um, when I'll flip it in a second when you can actually see my screen, but this is from OG Crafts, which she's paper mint decor on Instagram. I'm at absolutely adore her. The picture that is floating around on Pinterest is just a gorgeous eucalyptus and hydrangea. It's a paper wreath. It is just, the colors are beautiful. It's similar in a sense that it's that, um, like this pale mint-ish color, and it's got purple, and uh, she's got pink in there. She's got flowers. So, of what I, I mean, the whole point of this is just so that you can get kind of a color scheme. So even though it's sort of similar, but then totally different once you see it, you're like, oh yeah, no, I went a different direction. Um, I'm gonna do um, the reason why I put sweet. I'm doing like a sweet Christmas. I wanna do like all the fun like lollipops and you know, the pops of hot pink and turquoise and stuff. So I kept the wreath very simple in color, like sort of in that color scheme but then the colors are gonna pop with the images. Um, like I said, like the lollipop and a Chris, like trees that have snow on it, but it's actually gonna be frosting and I'm gonna put sprinkles in it. So it's just gonna be a sweet Christmas. I, I mean, it just started to come together and I absolutely love it. So let me go over the colors that I'm using in case you kind of wanna do this theme. I think you can really do it in any, um, in any set of colors. Um, but kind of just keep it keep in mind that like maybe you have like a range of colors and then that way This is your background. I mean, it's So pretty I don't even know if like I feel like in person. It's just it's it's just so pretty All right, so these are my basil paper. I've got Fiji um, Turquoise mist and then this is uh, this is just shimmer. That's weird. It has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I can't believe that's the color. That can't be the color. Um, but it looks like it's the color. Yeah, it is the color. So shimmer, turquoise mist, and, uh, what was that color that I just said? Fiji. Those are like my background colors. I'm going to have pops of hot pink. So you can kind of see this is the word sweet. Um, I'm gonna have some gold in there. And then I did the white just so that it would pop out. And then the bow to match and then everything else will kind of like um, be added in. But this is, I mean, I just love it. So, all right, let me show you the back. I got this, um, I don't know, what do you call these things? The little flower, the foam. <laughs> like, what do you call those things? The little foam thingies uh, from the Dollar Tree. So a dollar twenty-five. It does come in green. So what I did was I just took, I went and got you know um, streamers, another dollar, and um, wrapped it in a color that I was gonna use, even though this isn't technically any of the colors, as you can see. Um, but then you're not distracted by the green at all. And, and in fact, like as you add things, like it starts to cover it. We'll do that in the assembly tutorial, but it kind of just blends in and you're okay with that. I mean, no one's going to really see it from the side, but from the side, it still looks pretty good. I'm going to... Maybe we can add more. I didn't want to use it because I knew I was going to do another one. <laughs> so anyway, so this is what it looks like. I wanted to show you. Let's flip the screen so that we can get to the design space tutorial. So, all right, let me switch. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, you can see how crazy my, the back looks. Um, Yeah, I've been working hard hard so all right so here is the file um like i said it's from og crafts you can go and search just a wreath and it will come up i mean look at how beautiful this wreath is right 
it's different than the one I have. I mean, it sort of has like a little bit of the color, but not really. And then because I didn't add the flowers, I think if I added the flowers, I have no purple in this. Um, if I added the flowers, I, I think it would look really, really good. Um, but because I want to add, um, oops, hold on, let me get over here. Um, because I wanted to add the SVG files of those um, fun like Christmas treats, that's why I did that. So no flowers there. Let's get started on our design space tutorial. I have to move everything. Okay. So um, I ordered the file. I did, you know, I for a split second, I was like, well, I just need leaves and just to cut out a whole bunch of leaves. But, you know, this is just perfection. And I just wanted to give her <laughs> my money and said, you know what, it's worth it. Um, so for $8, what happens is you get a full file. So let me show you what it looks like in Design Space. Um, so let's go. So, oops, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Hold on, let's go and upload. So what it's going to look like is she basically has each one of these items as a separate SVG. Okay, so I'm going to bring it all in. Okay, so these are all the different ones and we're going to add to canvas. She already has the correct number of items that you need to print or cut and it's already sized properly. This is for a nine inch wreath, which uh, mine is actually 10 inches. So I did cut extra um, and I have a lot left over, but I cut a lot extra. So let's look at this. Okay, so what you need to do is basically she tells you, this one you cut one. Oh, this one you cut two. This one you cut one two and one of these and then I didn't cut any of this okay so I'm just going to delete that for a second each one of these all you need to do is when you go over to the side let's get rid of all the directions I basically I cut two I cut almost two of everything and the reason why I did that was because I knew <laughs> I knew I was going to do another one I also had some set aside so that I could do like a reel and all that stuff. So that's why I cut two of everything. But then it's kind of nice because it fits on there and then, then you have extras and you can do the sides or the back and really cover things up. So if you're already cutting, it's not that much to do uh, to get two. So, all right. All right. I think we're good. So with these, um, what I ended up doing is let's look at the colors. She basically had, um, these two are the same colors. These two are the same colors. So she had three colors and I used three colors. So I did the same thing. I did this in, you know, like a, one of my darker blues, lighter blues. And then I did a, a really light blue here the shimmer one. All right. So I'm going to now remove all of, well, let me show you what it looks like when you go to make it just so that you can see. Okay, I know we're going in crazy order. So here is the file and you see this, um, what I ended up doing is I did two copies of everything. Then the first one, the first one is here, right? And then it went a little bit onto the second one. So I didn't bother cutting this because I'm like, I don't need to cut another sheet. But this is what I did on this one. I do like to use my 12 by 24 mats, even though I used two 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock. All you have to do is make sure there's nothing at this 12 inch line. So to do this, I'm just gonna move everything down a little bit. Right, so you wanna do that because you wanna clear this, you wanna do it right here. And when you're putting your paper down, make sure that, um, cause what happens is a lot of times with, well, with basil paper, at least this is bigger than 12 by 12 because at the bottom is like the barcode and the color and whatever. So when I put this on, I make sure that this is at the top of my mat and that it's hanging up above. This right here is gonna be at my 12 inch line and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna have another one right at the 12 inch line with the words hanging off at the bottom. So the words, the two barcodes are gonna be at the front 
at the top of the mat and at the bottom of the mat. And I just wanna make sure that I have paper meeting each other at the 12 inch line, okay? So you just wanna make sure that you move all this down so that nothing cuts through this line right here, okay? So you can rearrange that. I won't do that on this. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. same thing with this one, right? Um, and you know, it's not, it doesn't take that long really because you know you can do something like this and start moving things down there's definitely space I did fit that on this one I think I ended up cutting um, I think I only cut the two I didn't cut this second sheet so I filled up this one because as you can see there's a lot there's space right here to fit another one so i basically filled up two 12 by 12 sheets and cut this color then on this one on this one i actually only cut one set and i have plenty left over so i'm not gonna i wouldn't recommend this one cutting two all right so now that you understand how to do that part let's get rid of it and let's do what's left which is the font and the word sweet coming through okay so this pretty little font is from creative fabrica i'll make sure that the link is down below in the description it's called bella rose and it's so pretty it does remind me of i love glitter a little bit especially on this side but this is you know more um flushed in there it looks nicer i definitely like it um the other thing that I really like too is if you look closely at the word sweet, there were some thin parts like the the little thing of the T, but it cut beautifully. I normally would cut this on HTV and then my offset layers I would cut in cardstock. But because this is a team project, um, it's a barely art design project, um, everyone else is using the gold paper. So I sucked it up and used the gold paper and it was super, super simple. It was not as thin and it was pretty easy to use. So, all right. Uh, so Bella Rose, the link is in the description. All right, let's talk about how to use it. So when you go to text, um, I'm gonna type in sweet. And this is what sweet looks like. It does not have the pretty little endings, okay? So what you need to do is, um, I use main type. So Google main type and download the free version. The free version looks like this. So what happens is when you scroll down to all the fonts that you have, so I have Bella Rose. Bella Rose comes with all these extras like this V and this H <laughs> and this A that has like this little loopy thing down below. So you can scroll through and see what you have. And I wanted to go all lowercase because I wanted to do the S that has, you know, the, the little squiggly before the S. So it's this right here. So I have this highlighted. I'm gonna hit Control C for copy. Go back into design space. Here's the trick open up another text box. This text box has to match the same font for this to work, okay? So this is still highlighted. I haven't touched it at all, right? I'm gonna hit Control V. So it dropped, oops. So it drops in my S. So here, I'm just gonna click on this. Right now it's grouped together. I'm gonna ungroup it, get rid of my S, and I'm gonna move this one in. Then I want my T. I'm going to go back to main type and I'm going to look for my pretty T. So I don't want this T, right? Because it needs to go the other way. So I'm going to scroll down and here's my other T. All right, so I have it highlighted. Control C. I'm going to go back into design space, open up a text box and do Control V. And there's my T. That, that is it. So now I'm going to move this over and I'm going to make this larger so I can really see if everything's connected. I want to make sure this is um, connected here. Now, what's going to be important is I'm going to change the color just so that you can really see what this looks like. If you don't weld this and you go to cut it, it's going to cut out the letter S and it's going to cut out this and it's going to go into your W. Your W is going to cut 
through this line right here and it's going to be missing this piece because that piece belongs to the S. So what you want to make sure you do is you want to grab all of this and go to combine and, you know, or, and weld. So I want to weld it because what happens is now the S is connected to the W. So if this were metal, it would all be one piece. Nothing's going to be cut off. The S isn't going to be cut off the W. It's all one piece. All right. So now that we have this, the next thing that you want to do is you want to measure your wreath because you want to size this so that it fits where, however you want your wreath to look. So you go to shapes and I'm going to bring in a circle and mine is 10 inches. The di diameter is 10 inches. I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller so I can see. Okay, so here is one. I'm going to duplicate it. And this one is 7.25, I believe. Okay, that's the inside of my circle. I'm gonna grab these two circles and go to align, center it, and then slice it. I'm not doing anything with this circle wreath foam thing other than just sizing how I want my word sweet to look. See how it's kind of, I'm going to move this to the front, arrange, send to the front. Okay, now what I want to do is I also want to do my offset. So this top layer is gold, if you remember from my project. The next layer is hot pink, the layer after that is white. So I'm going to go to offset and you can have as thick of an offset or as thin of an offset as you want. I actually went with 0 0.03. So I'm gonna type that in and then hit the tab key so that it will update. And then I'm gonna apply. So to make this easier to see, um, I am going to change this to gold. The next layer is hot pink. And then the layer after that, I'm going to offset again and that one's going to be white. Um, oops, there it is. Okay, so now these three layers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group them together because I need to, when I resize it, I want all three to be resized um, the same way. So I wanna make sure that they fit, right? So, all right, let's look at this. Um, I want the word, I want the little loops to definitely make it onto the edges and I think that's I think I'm okay that with that let's see oh I made it bigger oops so I actually just slightly bigger oh and not only that what did I do oh yeah it's just a little bit bigger so it's up to you you can resize it like that or however you want to but that's all that, that there is to it. Isn't that awesome? So, all right, I cannot wait for you to cut this. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna put together another one because this one, I'm shipping it off to Barely Art and I definitely, I know I want one for my art room. It is just so, so pretty. Um, all right, so I'm gonna finish cutting up some more because I had just a few extras and I will see you at the assembly tutorial. All right, bye.